So, you need to make a prefab appear out of nowhere. Not a problem. Let's say you made a prefab for a Star Fox 64 style charge shot explosion. It only has one public variable that allows you to control the explosion size, which is set to 20 by default. And it has one simple script. The size increases, the transparency decreases, and when transparency is equal to zero, it destroys itself. That's it. Now let's say we wanted it to appear when our brave main character crashes into the environment. If we wanted the cube to die and create an explosion when it hits the wall, how would we do that? Well, assuming that you've already set up the collision stuff from the last few tutorials, and the explosion is already a prefab, just go into your collider script, and under on trigger enter, if we collide with the environment, we all know we're gonna die. So the last code here should be to destroy ourselves. But before we kill ourselves, we want to go out with a bang. We want to make that nice explosion. So how do we do that? Well, the basic way is to create a public variable for our prefab. Don't forget to drag it in. And then you instantiate it like this. Instantiate our prefab, set a position, and set a rotation. If you wanted to use a custom position or rotation, you could manually set those like this, but we want our explosion to appear in our location at our rotation. If you save and run the game now, you will meet your maker and leave an explosion, just like the simulations. But what if we wanted to control the size of the explosion when we instantiate? The explosion has a size control variable after all, so how do you access it from the collision? Well, like everything else that you want to control, you turn it into a variable. So go in front and type game object, whatever you want to name, it. I'm just gonna call it death object and at the end you say as game object then you create a variable for the script that you want to control so you say explosion give your variable a name equals death object dot get component explosion and you can use the script variable to set the size to whatever you want so if we type in 80 here and save and run the game now when you hit a wall if you pause and check the size goal has been changed to 80 and your explosion will be super big hope that helps and as always hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.